Jimmy. Yeah. So good for you. It's your wife. What's up? Jim, listen, I'm driving, so I've got to be quick. I'm afraid you're going to have to cancel the hotel booking. What? I've been told I have to close this sale by tomorrow morning or they'll pull out. But tomorrow's our first wedding anniversary. Tell them you can't work. We only sell dodgy greeting cards. No one wants to buy it. Yes, and you only fix cars in some dodgy back alley car shop. I've told him it's our anniversary, but he's not interested. Well, what if I kick him up the shitter? That'll make him interested. Yeah, I'd like to kick him too, believe you me. I'll find you when I'm at the hotel. Look, London's only 30 odd miles away. We could stay at your hotel. Mm, that sounds nice. But I have to work tonight if I'm to close the sale by the morning. Just cancel the hotel, but I'm not only about half six. Look, Jim, I'm really sorry. Well, I've got some work to do in my car anyway. Okay, then I'll ring you in the morning to wish you happy anniversary. All right. I love you. Yeah, so, same for me too, honey. Yeah. Bye. Bye. asking you to do is to hurry up and get me, please. I've heard that these people don't like to wait around. We can't stay at Mum and Dad's for their safety. And we can't afford to keep staying in hotels every day. Will you just come and get me? I don't want to be here on my own. I just don't know what they're going to do. We're way over our heads, David. And will you come and get me? And let's go right now. I so. But I'm a bit busy right now. I'm raising the money as we speak. No, I've got to go. I'll, I'll call you back later. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sisters, eh? Heads or tails? Heads.
It's okay. Take it. Take it! It's a mobile phone. We've got a message for your other half. First anniversary, Jim. You have two messages. Message one. Hi, Rachel. In case you forgot, this is your mother. Anyway, I just want to wish you both a happy first anniversary. See you soon. Love you. From me. Message two. Recognize my voice. I bet you do. But if you've forgotten, then recognize his voice. Oh! Help me, please! The rest of my time! Meet me by the river in the town called Maidstone. You got that? We'll do the exchange at three o'clock. I'll bring the girl, and don't forget what you owe me. Or you won't see her again. For now, for now. I fucking owe you, you fuckers! Thanks, I'd like to pay for my own drinks. Oh, please. Look, I'll pay for this drink, and in return, you give me one game of pool. Have a game of pool with a barmaid. No, thanks. What if I buy you two drinks for one game of pool? Come on, what'd you say? One game. You pay for this drink, and that's it, because I'm driving. Okay. Where's the, uh, this, uh, this? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
I told you to bring her up from the basement, tie her up, put her in a chair, and put her where you can see her. I thought I could keep a close eye on her there. What if the police turn up? What are you going to say then when they look for their kidnapped girl? Oh no, Mr. Police Officer, we've got no kidnapped girl here. You could have put her anywhere. But no, you put her there. Ah. Ah, yeah. Now, come on, we've got things to do. Count your lucky stars, he's got my fucking guns. Come on, girls. Struck her in the van. <sighs> now think about what you're doing. sorted out soon, the chief is going to batter my balls. And if I get my balls battered, then my legs are going to go like the fucking clappers. And if my balls get battered, do you know who I'm going to come running to? Okay. You fuck up, you die. If you scream, I'll kill you and your man. Get it? Got it. Come on, girls. Suppose. Forget that! I have people waiting to see me when I come out of here. If they see me, they'll walk the same way as us and you go another. If they don't see me in, uh, one minute twenty, they're gonna burst in here and... Well, you know the rest. 
When will I get the rest of the guns? The guns? Well, you give me back Rachel and I'll give you the rest. Sir, how many guns have you got in the bag then, David? David? That's all right, Rachel. David's here. I'll be with you soon, OK? Just let us do the deal, OK? You fuckers. You've got the wrong people. Put those guns in that bag. Look. Just give me back Rachel and we'll go our separate ways. We won't say nothing more about it, OK? If it means anything to you, then I'm sorry. But I'm afraid things have gone just a little too far from that. But you can have her back anyway. <laughs> I'll do this on my own, okay? I can't let them get away with this. You need a new job. Yes, I think I do. 